Monsters of the Midwest. Uh, this is another one of these reads that's kind of perfect for uh, spooky season here in Michigan. It's the end of October, although I, I got to be honest with you, it still feels kind of like summer. We have a very hot October going on, uh, but there's, you know, uh, lots of the changing of the leaves and everything around here is beautiful and the smell and everything like that. I truly love fall in Michigan. Beautiful time. People come from all over the world uh, this time of year to see the colors and the leaves changing. Uh, next year, I'm going to make it a point to get up to UP so I can enjoy that, where I've heard it's just like seas of red as far as the eye can see. So this book is, a, I'm going to say, is a bit um, juvenile of a collection of monster tales, essentially, that supposedly happen. If you're somebody who's already familiar with the field of cryptozoology, cryptozoology, for the most part, is what you would call monster hunters. There's not much in here that you're actually going to uh, find new. But, you know, this is the type of book for this type of season, you know. If you're looking for just a quick book you can read uh, in one day, I think I actually might read a book just about the uh, Loch Ness Monster. And, you know, look, I don't believe in any of this stuff. Um, but, you know, I do believe, I believe a lot of people actually do see something that they can't explain. Now, of course, if you can't explain something, you can't explain something. Say, I can't explain how it happened, therefore it's a psychic phenomenon. I can't explain what happened. Therefore, it's goes well. No, you, you can either explain something or you can't. Uh, that's argument from ignorance. But you know, like I said, you know, I do a lot of very heavy nonfiction reading, a lot of true crime stuff, and October is kind of my month to put in stuff like this. So, Monsters in the Midwest, you can pick it up on your Kindle, or you can go to Barnes and Nobles. They actually had this. Uh, the only reason why I didn't get it from there is. You know, we're coming to the end of October, and I just wanted to get this read in, probably get maybe one or two more of these reads in, and then I'll call it that, and it's on to November where it's some serious, serious reading. I have a collection of, of really, really thick books that I want to get through. Good, but it's going to be a long time before I can get through them. So that's what the end of the year is going to be dedicated to. So, thank you.